happy new year and let's get to building so the materials i i used in this video were mdf boards angle connectors screws electric screwdriver wood glue floral green stone tiles and screw drill bits <laughs> that was fast so what i'm doing here is uh, attaching my uh, angle connectors to the mdf uh, mdf boards i normally don't have a uh, working table at home so i just lay everything down on the floor and get to work so i'm just attaching the connectors like i said using screws and uh an electric screwdriver That piece of uh, MDF plate I just moved, that acts like a stabilizer. You can use anything. You don't necessarily have to use an MDF plate. The one that I'm using there is just a piece that I was going to use to make this whole thing. So you can just put it in between two uh, plates and then uh, use it to when you're moving, when you're attaching the angle connector. Because you can see the angle connector keeps on moving. And to make sure it doesn't move and go out of place, is putting that piece of wood in between two plates then screwing in your angle connectors. Once you're done, everything should look like this and then take your wood glue, any type of wood glue, as long as it's a wood glue. You don't necessarily have to use the brand that I'm using. Any is fine. I'm going to uh, apply it on the edge of one of the plates that has no connectors and then place the one with the connectors on top of it and then remember to put that piece of block of MDF that you were using to hold it in place. Make sure everything is in place and it's aligned both plates and then you're going to have something like this. You can see I call it a tower or Tony calls it a tower. It should look like a tower or like a U shape. Going to be having something like this two towers <laughs> so i took my tape measure and i measured the sides of the of the towers where i wanted to place the bottom piece which was going to be in the middle the one lying flat on the floor is just a spacer that is part is a piece to this whole puzzle uh, and it's acting like a spacer so i marked using a pencil i used uh, i marked where i want wanted to place this piece i used some wood glue applied it to the sides and then I placed it in between the two towers and then using an angle connectors I went on and screwed uh, the connectors in that is uh, joining the middle piece and the towers. So I took another piece of MDF uh, plate, added uh, wood glue and attached it to the uh, side of the tower, both towers, so I had two pieces. And I know I'm just adding a lot of pieces. If you want me to send you like a cut list, uh, just send me a DM on my Instagram. My Instagram handle is uh, there, somewhere there on the screen. <laughs> uh, just send me a, a DM or leave a comment down in the comments uh, section down below and say hi Colette uh, can you please send me the cut list on the materials you used to make this thing and I'll gladly do it so I went on and took another piece of MDF applied some wood glue and attached it on top of the mini rectangle you see in between the towers and then I went on and wiped off the excess glue
Then, as usual, took the connectors, added some uh, wood uh, screws, screwed them in to make sure it was stable. So I know you're wondering what is that down there. <laughs> I didn't have any piece of spacer that would fit in between. So I ended up using those boxes. It's just boxes, put them together and put them in that space. And then the following day, continue with this thing. <laughs> so I went on and attached the top plate using angle connectors, screwed them in to make sure it was stable and firm. This is what we have. I'm, I'm, I'm just hoping you can see what it is. <laughs> and what I'm doing, I'm adding uh, it's silicone uh, glue. I'm attaching stones. These are tiles on top of the cover, the radiator cover. Now to have that mantle effect or that full fireplace effect. We didn't cut the stones on camera because it was very hard and I was actually, I thought when Tony was cutting the stones, for those who don't know Tony, Tony is my husband, when he was cutting the stones I was literally hiding because whenever he cut the stones they were like these tiny pieces that were flying, were flying everywhere so I didn't want to lose my eye and definitely I didn't want one of the stones breaking our camera lenses so I was like you know what just cut it off camera we're just going to explain and tell people that do this off camera so they're just pieces of stone tiles that you can either cut if you want stone tiles you can uh, lease or rent uh, the cutting machine from your local hardware store or if, you, or if you don't want to do the whole process of stone tiles you can look for peel and stick um, peel and stick tiles and just attach them onto the radiator cover or the mantle for us we wanted stone tiles so basically what i'm doing here i'm just adding the silicone glue and uh, touching the stone tiles and here you you want you don't want to use good wood glue when you're doing this you need to use a specific glue and for us the guys at the hardware store under the tiles uh, section told us the best uh, type of glue to use with this particular project is silicone glue so we are using silicone glue and attaching the stone tiles to it So we let it dry overnight and then went on to cut the molding, uh, that is the following day. The hardest part in this project was cutting the molding, though with molding you just need to be creative, you don't have to, there's no specific type of molding that you, that you need to use in this particular project, you just need to be creative, think out of the box, pick whichever kind of molding you want, we used chair railing, base molding, just whatever as long as you like it. So I attach it onto the faux fire uh, mantle um, using some wood glue and some nails. And uh, once we were done, this is what we had. I went on and picked my white paint, just normal uh, wood paint, and I painted the whole thing white. If you haven't watched my video, uh, was it last year? I'm not sure when I did that video. If you haven't watched it, it's my radiator cover, how to build a radiator cover. Check the description box below. I have the link there. I did, uh, in the video, I show how I was cutting this grid. And last time it was hard, but this time it was quite easy. I think <laughs> I learned a thing or two from that. And this time around, I used a hand saw, a small hand saw to cut. And before cutting, I made sure I had like, uh, marked the lines using a pencil on where I'm going to cut 
and i painted it off camera sorry guys again yes i know i painted it off camera it's cold in denmark and if you're going to do something outside you don't have time to start setting up a camera but if you follow me on instagram i posted stories on me doing it so that is why you should follow me on instagram for some behind the scenes okay <laughs> so uh here guys i am just attaching the grid to the fire mantle using some small nails and here is the final product all ready and glammed up for winter if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment down in the section uh comment section below tell me what you think tell me where you're from tell me where you're watching from at least say hi if you love this video subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any video and i'll be seeing you guys on the next one bye bye